So lovely. Gently I her I did say she pulled up her garments so scared it would soil. I out with old Phoenix went pouring for oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more. Here all from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass. My said bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. Oh, well now. <laughs> Who's gonna join me for poker? Why not? My mama taught me how to play this. Now this is a good group of players we got here. Okay. There. about this I reckon I'll go all in oh all right I see here good joke huh Here's those herbs you asked for. Ah, uh, excellent, thank you. I'll slip these in Pearson's pot when he's not looking.
Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laugh death, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! There's something up with this one, I can tell. Just minding my own business. Howdy, partner. You must be in the wrong town. Clear off. Best be leaving now. Is that right? Okay, then. That's the last straw! I need to try hard on that. Master? Feel like having a good time right now? Not today. Guess you don't want a good time. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Morning, partner. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. 
Remember with kindness. Good morning. Forgive me, ma'am. Oh, okay. Been a while. Not to worry. Guess you've been keeping in good health, huh? Have a look. Hey, that area ain't for you. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. For. Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Looks like a nice little business you got going back here. What the hell?
some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. Now we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and... Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. <laughs> 